All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm doing an educational commentary. This is going to be a very, very special topic. The topic of this commentary is going to be playing calm and not choking. I haven't talked about this for a while, but this is actually people's biggest weakness is playing and choking because of the pressure that they put on themselves. And to be honest with you, all of it is right here. It's all in your head. It, 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 it comes down to what you perceive the game to be. And if you perceive it to be easy and fun, it's going to be easy and fun. And if you're worried and, 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 and doubting yourself and second guessing everything, that's how the game is going to be played out. You're going to make mistakes because of that. So let's talk about it. And let's see how I approach. I'm gonna, I'm gonna basically gonna get you into the mind of a pro player. How I approach a fight, how calm I am, how I predict what my opponent might do, and just different different things that can help you make the right choice when it comes down to it. If you're under pressure, um, so that's gonna be the focus of this commentary today. Let's make it happen. Let's do the do. There's a pump in there. I'm gonna go get that pump. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna be doing a lot of thinking out loud for you guys. And some of it might feel repetitive maybe or something that you already know. But sometimes saying it out loud uh, can help connect with you guys and, and help you understand uh, what the deal is here. So, okay, so right off the bat, let's talk about what's going on here. I'm, I'm looting this house. Uh, I haven't got any shields yet, but I do have shields now. I was gonna talk about how to approach like people when you don't have shields, but we do have sh some shields right now. We don't have an AR. We're missing that right now. Jonathan, thanks so much for buying a t-shirt. By the way, if you guys did not know, we have buying a sweater. If you, we have a, we have our merch on sale right now. There will be a link in the description of this video and all the videos moving forward. Uh, if you want to go uh, buy some of that merch, it's a limited time. All right, so we farmed up like 300 wood. Um, and this is going to be enough to actually like move around here and see if there's anybody nearby. I'm listening to see if there's anybody here. I see a big shield. I'm just going to go straight for it. I see a trap inside. I'm going to grab the big shield. Let's go for the trap. Right now, in the beginning, in the early game, I, this is a pretty like low-key land. Like I don't have a lot of people pushing me right off the bat. Um, and I, I recommend that if you're like still starting off and you're trying to figure things out, you should definitely go for these like not completely dead drops where you're not going to get any loot. But there's a lot of places where there are there, there is enough loot. Um, and there might be like one or two people landing there, but not like a whole lot of people just enough uh, To make it to give you some early game fights and to get you some loot that you need for the rest of the game Landing too far away and not getting enough loot and then you're kind of stuck and you're already like you're basically playing catch-up with a lot of the players in the lobby You definitely don't want that um, so I Thought somebody landed here with me. Yeah, there's there she is so I'm going to take some shots. I hit her a couple times. I'm going to start building up. Just going straight for the high ground right now. Uh, I'm not really double ramping or anything. Right here, I blocked her off. And I'm going to prevent her from taking the high ground. Now, so here she she built up. And that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and just break through. I don't want to waste too many materials. So I'm kind of moving here a little slow. Um, she might ramp up here. No, she's not ramping up yet. She might ramp up here. Put the trap down. Hit her with the trap. And finish her off. So we had 300 wood to start the fight. I use 120 wood. I use 120. Uh, the reason why is because I was calm. I already had the jump on her. I hit her a few times. I hit her a few times during that fight. And you'll notice that when I ramp up, I, I, I didn't put like a bunch of walls in front of my ramps. And like I could have, if I wanted to, fortified this tremendously. But this is early game. Most likely, you know, if you start doing that, I would have ran out of mats way before. And the entire time, I was just kind of looking at her and seeing where she wanted to go. And I was like uh, trying to beat her to the punch and staying on top and putting a little bit of pressure without really spending too many materials. I, I basically used 120 mats and that's it. The the fight is over at that point. Um, so maybe a little bit more than 120, like 150, 160 mats. But not a lot of mats were spent. And we come out on top. And he, look, she had a much better loadout than us. She had she had shields. She had a med kit. She had a silence uh, scar. Um, blue pump. And a... Uh, P90, but that didn't really matter. We kind of just we kind of followed her through, uh, and and kept putting pressure. Eventually, she ramped over us, and then we just put the cone on top of her. So like she ramped over us like this, and I put the cone on top of her, and then I boxed her in, and then I put the trap down, 
and that's like my bait like that's my bread and butter move when i'm in build fights i try to look for that a lot you don't necessarily have to do that you could you could stay on top of her keep the high ground and just put pressure with smg um and we had two smgs so that would have been that would have been a good option too but the main thing i want to learn from that fight is that one i was calm i wasn't panicking you know i saw her i took my early shots i started building up i didn't waste materials i was very efficient with my materials and and i was i was basically controlling the tempo of the fight because you know i didn't go too fast or too slow and i kind of just i kind of just uh stayed in a ad advantageous position um and a lot of times what people don't do in a build fight is they look for the shot uh that lady she had a few opportunities to shoot at me she didn't take them so she's too busy building and especially early game you're not gonna have a whole lot of materials so going for those early like over the top build fights it's not smart you end up running out of materials early and and you know you might get caught off guard someone else might push you you might get third partied um so you notice a trend hopefully throughout this game when i push somebody uh that i i try to minimize my material use and and it also kind of keeps you calm a little bit when you're not overspending your materials so you're not like like when you're not moving too fast you can process the information a little bit easier you can see where your opponent is and you can see what they're trying to do. There's a launch pad here. There's a trap on the wall over there. Uh, someone might be inside there. Maybe they just finished the fight. I'm not entirely sure. I'm just going to approach. Slowly approach. There's a trap over here in his minis. And I can't pass up on leaving a trap behind. So I'm going to go grab it. I think that person finished the fight if they were. Let's start moving in. Now we still don't have a whole lot of materials, but hopefully I won't need too much because I hopefully won't have to go. I mean, ho hopefully I can play it properly and not spend too much. Right now we're just gonna ramp up. Let's take this launch pad. Let's move towards Greasy. People might have landed in Greasy, and if they did, they, they'll be rotating out here soon. Uh, you gotta remember when the bus came from. The bus came from this area, anyways. So greasy, snobby, uh, tilted, Viking Hill. You're gonna have people over there. There seem to have been build fights over here. Just looking around, trying to locate opponents. Nothing yet. I see somebody driving in the distance. I hit the car. Hopefully, I'll make him stop. But that's okay. Actually, I, I want to. I want to put this in the commentary. I want to show you guys. I mean, so most of you should know this. Uh, some of you don't. And maybe most of you don't, but obviously these craters, they send you flying. But if you, like, mix the invisibility cube with the craters, uh, you can travel the map very quickly. Uh, and to do, it's not really, it's really not that hard to do. So let's, oh. All right, this guy came out of nowhere. That's fine. Just, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm going to see what he's doing. He's going to, he's, he's shooting. He's putting a little bit more pressure. I think he's going to try to break through. There we go. Hit him for 170 in the face. So, this guy came out of nowhere. Kind of caught me off guard. That's fine. Uh, I didn't overbuild. I, I I let him build on top of me. And I just wanted to see what he's doing. He was putting some pressure. I, I took some shots at him with the shotgun. And then over here, I just saw I saw that he was going for a uh, for a uh, like a drop down on me. And I decided to just simply put down the trap. The trap didn't hit him, but he was so worried about the trap that he actually got himself killed a little bit. Now I think someone is ramping up towards us. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go over the top. Now, right here, I jumped up. I'm going to get out of here. I don't want to be inside that box for too long. You see, he's so focused on building up. He actually had an opportunity to maybe uh, snipe me or, I mean, uh, trap me or even edit down and shock me. But he's so obsessed about keeping the high ground that he actually ended up maybe costing himself a little bit. Once he reloads over here, he, he has to reload his AR and his SMG right here. I'm going to build up. We didn't get him inside. Let's see. Yeah, he's so this guy. Okay, this guy seems to be very obsessed with with taking the high ground, and and I have enough materials. I even have a grappler, so I could potentially just take the high ground. But I think what I'm gonna do instead is I'm going to drop down and see if I can bait him into into dropping down. Yeah, he just launch padded, you see?
And someone else is actually... You see that? Now we have high ground. We didn't need to spend any materials at all to take it. He's going to edit out the top. There we go. So... He, this guy was obsessed with taking high ground. Look at all that stuff he did. I didn't really have to spend too many materials. I just I stayed underneath him and I started baiting him with the uh, knockdown. He launch padded down. All of a sudden, we have high ground. He doesn't, right? And we're putting pressure on him. Uh, the second part of that fight, uh, he actually... I'm going to pop this just because he, he was in a box. And I saw an opportunity to shoot him from underneath. Sometimes when they build a box, it's not like completely closed. So I caught him off guard here, hit him a few times with the SMG. And then once he once he boxed in, he put a ramp up. A lot of times people, when they're in a box, they put that ramp up and then they start wanting to edit out. And you can see them edit out the uh, like this. They're gonna edit out like that. And they're gonna ramp out. So I was already there and I was ready. And I just met him and I, uh, I shot him. Killed him. So. That guy was a good player. I mean, he, he, looked like, he looked like he could build pretty well. He knew what he was doing. Uh, but at the end of the day, just playing smart a little bit slower. Just like it, people, people, a lot of people say that I play slow. Like I build slow, I play slow. And and, and I don't think that's the, that's the true. I can play really fast and I can spend materials and go crazy with, with my mouse and stuff. But the at the end of the day, my play style is actually more of like a slower paced play style. And, and, it, it, and it's truly a play style. It's not like a, a lack of mechanical skill, but it's a play style that I, that I, like to play and it allows me to beat players that might be better builders or better aimers than me just by outplaying them outsmarting them and also preserving my materials which actually is, is a smart way to play in tournament as well it's just uh you gotta have more experience uh to pull it off jennifer thank you so much for buying that t-shirt i appreciate you tremendously All right, I hear some people up ahead. I'm actually just gonna go ahead and move in just because unfortunately people die so quickly in these games nowadays. I don't even have a chance to uh, to get like a high kill fight. Um, Nogops just killed him. Being sniped and shot from the side as well. I'm gonna go ahead and hold the high ground and see what I can do here. There we go. Someone is uh, pushing us right now. That's okay. I'm just going to try to pop this. See if I can. Hopefully he'll let me. There we go. I'll put a roof up just to protect me a little bit more. I'll put that wall up. These aren't my walls. And that is mine now. So I'll take that. Um, so he's on top. And I, I kind of want to see how he'll react to me just taking high ground with the uh, grappler. Oh, actually, he's pushing pretty aggressively. There we go. So I knew I knew what I was gonna do immediately as soon as soon as he jumped down. He did a lot of damage to me, um, but I, I didn't panic in a sense. Like he he was playing very aggressive, and as soon as he went down, I put three traps down. Now the reason I put three instead of two, if I put two and he stood over here, none of them would have hit him. Or if I put two and he stood over here, only one would have hit him. If he had 200 health, he could have potentially finished me off. So I put three just to like seal the deal. Like like if I put three down, if he stands here, he's dead. If he stands here, he's dead. Here he's dead. There's no there's no safe spots, right? Um. And even if he ramps up, he's dead. Like, doesn't matter how he ramps. Unless he ramps like... Unless he ramps like this, he's safe. But at that point, I'm not really going to let the ramp stay. I'm probably going to just break the ramp. Um, so that guy, like, he just rushed me. And you got to be careful when you're pushing it into, like, a like a, a player's box. Especially if they're good and, and they know what they're doing. They can throw down that, that trap very, very quickly. Um, let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and uh, bounce out of here. Real quick, real quick tip. Uh... If you want to like use a launch pad and just not have it uh, being used by somebody else, uh, I don't even have, even have to do this right now, but I'm just going to do it just to show you guys. Um, let me build up real quickly. Hopefully I don't get myself killed doing this. That would be very annoying. But let's say you have launch pad there. You would put that. You can do it with floors. You can do it with ramps. I'm going to do this edit. I'm going to jump, confirm the edit, and then use the launch pad. And now it's gone, you know. So you, you can you can you can pre that you can pre do that edit and then confirm it right as you jump, like right before you jump, and it won't it won't break you down necessarily. So that's how that's done. Um, 
I don't know if there's anybody up here. Being a little cautious as I approach. Not wasting too many mats, hopefully. Yes. Seem, seems kind of dry over here, but I think there is somebody over there. Yeah, there is. Somebody's in a box over there. That's fine. Uh, they didn't snipe at me. They shot an AR. So hopefully that means they don't have a sniper. I prefer if they don't. It makes things a little bit easier. A little less risky that they hit like a lucky shot. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and drop down low over here and... Um, Just slowly work my way. I'm going to use my old builds uh, to like kind of not be seen. Old builds are better than new builds because it's harder for them to see you. Now, at this point, I do have to give up my position. And it looks like he's trying to reposition himself because he, he was in the circle. Now he's not. So, Wayne, thank you so much for buying some merch, man. I appreciate that. Yeah, he has a sniper. So, now, okay, now I'm going to come in and use this. I, I blocked him, but he actually just phased through it, unfortunately. So I'm not going to go too high up. You know, if I go too high up, it, other people might come in and get involved too. I really don't want that. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to shoot him down. Got a couple good hits on him there. We'll break this. So he's a little weaker, but he might still have more health than us. Um... There we go. That was a bit more of an advanced move, to be honest with you. What I just did there, it's not something that I expect you to pick up. But basically, what I did is I, I used the launch, I used the, I used the grappler to get right behind him, and I knew he was standing on a ramp, and he was like standing at the top of the ramp like this, right? So, and he had, he had this wall here. So when I came over the top, I put this over here, and I actually put a floor immediately. And since he was standing over here, when I put the floor, it just lifts him up a little bit. And then I boxed him in and trapped him. So, uh, depending on where your opponent is positioned, you can, you know, kind of force them into your box, sort of. All right. So, I see somebody over there. Uh, and it looks like he was kind of, like, aggressively pushing somebody else. So, he might already be in a fight, for all I know. Yeah, it looks like they're in a fight. So, I'm going to go ahead. I only have four grappler uses. I'm just going to save them. I'm going to save him a little bit. Just I'm just going to get on top of this hill. I think it'll be the best best point because I'll be on top of both these guys. And this guy might actually try to get to the hill, and it looks like he is. Yeah, he's trying to get to the hill before me. That's smart of him. This seems like a good player to go for the hill. So he's putting some fire back. I'm just going to go ahead and protect myself. Walls and ramps. Nothing too crazy. Looks like he's trying to drop down. Got to be cautious. If there's another player, he's going to be underneath us, right? If he was fighting somebody else. Yeah, they're fighting right now. Let me go ahead and drop down on these guys. Put a lot of pressure on the first guy. He's very weak. You know, slowly come down here. He's underneath us. He's in a box. I'll put my floor down. Seems like a good player. Trying to trap me. There we go. That was actually really risky. We almost died to his trap. I, I thought it was a bad player at first because uh, he was hiding low ground. Uh, and he pushed into me and tried to box me in. But I put my traps down before he did. So my traps went off. And his trap went off and didn't didn't kill me because I killed him before before he killed me. So that was pretty intense at the end. Two good players. But because we put ourselves in a good position, we were able to take advantage of that. And I, honestly, if we wanted to, we could have kept the high ground. But I think since he was low health, putting the pressure on him was smart. And he did a good job of, like, being a low-ground warrior and, like, try trying to shoot us when we edited him. Um, and going for, like, those aggressive trap plays. Uh, but at the end of the day, like, if you're... If I knew what was going on and I could read it, and because I knew what was going on, putting down that trap before he did saved my life. And putting that ramp over him to prevent him from shooting me also saved my life. So, good stuff. A lot closer than I would have liked it to be at the end. Um, but that was a really good commentary. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're watching this on YouTube, like the video and subscribe. Also, check out our merch. We just launched our merch. Link in the description. Uh, it's a limited time, so get it while you can. Thank you guys so much for watching.